back to work today. Uh, here, gonna finish up a few loose ends I have uh, for our kitchen in Livermore. Um, this is the kitchen here. We've installed, we've created uh, and installed. We've got um, these spindles that we cut down in half for the right and left side of uh, this peninsula. Just kind of make it look more like a piece of furniture. So that's what we got going there. Nice cute little bookshelf at the end. We have a garbage pull out, or garbage pull out. That's something I'm gonna be working on today. Make sure the door uh, is on there properly. Um, but we got some drawers, our sink, um, farmhouse sink, pretty cool. We made the countertop go into the bay window area here, which was pretty sweet. It looks really clean. Uh, countertop guys did a real good job on uh, making everything look like, you know, like a professional wood. Um, so that's cool. Uh, backsplash looks great as well. Of course, the cabinets are awesome. The car molding on top. We redesigned this kitchen a little bit. Move the oven over. Um, I forget why we did that. It had to do with spacing and making sure that the cabinets on the right and the left. Oh, that's what it was. We didn't. This this uh, stove top used to be slammed right up against the refrigerator, and I didn't want um, to have to backsplash this. Um, you know, because you can't have. Uh, combustible material right next to the cooktop. So we had to have some kind of space there. So we ended up moving the oven over um, along with uh, vent hood and all that kind of stuff. So we got cool stuff. We got uh, Lazy Susan in here. Um, all of the hardware is uh, Bloom uh, soft clothes hardware. We have uh, double drawers up here. So you can, um, you know, pull out this drawer to reveal that one. Everything has soft closers on them. Uh, so they just close on their own there. I'll show you. And boom, just close like it's supposed to. So that's the setup here in the kitchen. We got a nice finished end here. Looks real sweet, but uh, real happy with this. Customers real happy with it. Uh, did the crown molding on the vaulted ceiling. That always adds a big touch. Um, this is a cabinet that I did, um, you know, last year for them, and that's what got me the job for the kitchen. Um, we're finishing up the crown molding in here today and touching up uh, spackle and caulking the crown that we've installed in here. So just uh, a little more work to do today, but uh, yeah, on the right track.